Plush Trucker filmed before a live and very, very fuzzy studio audience. Yep, that is Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. The following takes place between 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker channel. All right, driving along here on uh, I-40 uh, east of Little Rock towards Mayhem Fields. Uh, actually, we're gonna jog up I-55 and we're gonna cut across a little bit of the upper northwestern section of Arkansas into Kentucky and go that way on my way up towards, well, we're going all the way up to New York State for a Monday night delivery. But uh, we're going to touch on a few different things in this video. I did actually get a, a proper truck wash the other day at the, uh, well, the same, the Iowa 80 group. The, they have the Truckomat truck wash. They have one at the uh, Joplin 44 truck stop there in Joplin, Missouri. So I got a proper truck wash. So, you people, so many people in the comments were giving me crap. Oh, your truck's so dirty. Your trailer's so dirty. You got to do something. Use some of that Laughlin money and clean it up. So I did. So you can get off my butt about that. So I got some video of that. For those uh, who are not familiar with trucking, not in trucking at all, or maybe just about to get into trucking, thought, well, I'll show, uh, you know, I'm trudging off to get a shower. I'm not showing me in the shower. Don't worry, you know, I don't, I don't mean to scare you. Just thought like, you might want to see what one of those shower rooms looks like, how we can get in, how you do it on the app, at least on the uh, TA Petro Truck Smart app. Speaking of the Truck Smart app, also going to show you how to uh, use the Pump Smart. I've been using that ever since I did it the first time, about a month or so ago, and I've been meaning to do a video about that. I know uh, the Tourette's Trucker, you beat me to it. You you had a video uh, showing the using the Pump Smart. I think you were in Little Rock when you did it at the Petro. But uh, see, I watched your videos, buddy. Anyway. Um, I found it to be pretty useful. You still got to do some stuff with the pump, but we'll go through all that. Uh, found a person driving down the road when I was in Oklahoma the other day, uh, Schneider, shredding their trailer tire. I got a hold of her and was able to get her pulled over. We'll show you that. And uh, a couple other things, so let's move on. All right, well, here I am waiting in line. I've been waiting in line for over an hour now here at the... Um, truck o mat that's what they call it, um, here in Joplin, Missouri. I've been in line for over an hour, like I say. I got so much grief from everybody saying, well, you, you should have done a proper truck wash. That didn't do enough, and your trailer's so dirty. And after I had to replace the glad hand on my trailer and had to clean off the area where it was, I was replacing it, oh, your trailer's so dirty. Ah! So, yeah, okay, so I said I'd be doing one soon. So here I am waiting in line. Of course, I've been in line for over an hour. There's one truck up in the bay. There's another truck in front of me waiting. Uh, there's trucks. They've got two bays here. It's full up on the other side. But I'm doing it. All right. So, uh, Truckomat does a hell of a lot better job. Either this one or the Iowa 80, or there's one. There's a couple more locations. They have one at the uh, next to the TA in uh, what is that? Here, uh, here, something. I can't think of the name of it now. It's the Lancaster exit in Ohio. Off I-70, Hebron, that's the name of it. Uh, they have a, a standalone one there, and I think they've got uh, a couple other standalone ones. They do a lot better job than uh, Blue Beacon or Streaking Beacon, as we call them. So, um, you know, hopefully they'll do a good job. It's going to cost probably close to 100 bucks, but uh, you know, it needs it. I know. All right, I'm doing it. Okay, you can back off. Well, it looks like they're doing the final rinse on the one in front of me. That's uh, some sort of racing truck. And not meaning that the truck races itself, but... I think it, on the side it looked like it was a racing boat. So that's a big long truck that we call a large car or a house. It's got an extra big sleeper on it. And then they're hauling that trailer with the, uh, the racing boat inside. Talk out uh, top alcohol hydro. Okay, you can see they start pulling me in, and it's a little blurry because there's a, already water on the windshield. They spray you a little bit as you're coming in. You can see on the left and right those two big uh, pillars. That's the automatic part of the wash. You got a guy there to the right spraying it down as I'm getting in, and a guy guiding me in and 
telling me how far to go and he tells me stop right there and we stop it and they get to the wash here's this guy out here he's uh, scrubbing it down with a brush dipped in a uh, bucket of washer fluid or well you know just soap and water and all that this guy over here on the side he's working up a sweat trying to get it clean there's a, a you can zoom in on the uh, automatic one back there you can see it's doing the side of the trailer while they're also hand washing they do a little bit of both here at the uh, Oak Grove uh, I keep saying Oak Grove this is the Joplin 44 truck o -Mat. like I say truck o -Mat does a better job than Blue Beacon there's Rusty up there watching the whole thing barking at everybody there's another guy spraying it down doing a good old job yeah they did a real good job of cleaning it up it was real real hot that day Thursday in uh, Joplin, Missouri, heat index of around 107. Those poor guys in there sweating their butt off trying to get this all clean for me, but you can see they did a real good job cleaning it overall. Look how much better it looks right there. The trailer is actually white again. <laughs> how about that? Look at that. Remember how bad that looked when I replaced the glad hand on that video a couple of videos ago? All right, they're all done with the wash. They're doing the final rinse here. And yes, it looks so much better than it used to. It was worth the money. Seventy dollars for truck and trailer. I did not pay for Brightner or Citrus. I don't think that helps if you do the wash right. And I tipped each guy. There was four guys working on my truck. Each of them ten bucks. So, hundred and ten bucks is what that cost me total. It's amazing how you throw ten bucks at them and they step up the effort a little bit. <laughs> I know I would if I were doing it. Yeah, I got the truck wash here at the Petro uh, Joplin, also known as the Oak Grove. You know, and I, I keep saying Oak Grove 70, but that's the other one in uh, near Kansas City. This is just the, the Joplin Petro. Uh, I don't know what they call it, but it's related to the Iowa 80 truck stop. That's why the truck o mat where I just was over there, Iowa 80 truck wash, truck o mat that's why it's all related. I kind of tip say don't grow 70, but I was wrong. Sorry. All right, I got a quick shot out at the truck after the truck wash. It's so pretty. Doesn't it look so much better? And even as I'm walking in to take my shower, here's kind of a, a further away view, and it's the prettiest truck in that row, ain't it? First thing I want to highlight is the Pump Smart. If you haven't used that, guys, uh, the drivers yet, on the Truck Smart app uh, for TAs and Petros, I started using it oh, about a month and a half ago. Uh, I find it pretty handy. The thing I mainly like about the Truck Smart app is then you can put your mileage in while you're still in the truck, and that way you don't have to remember it. Because what I always have to do, had to do before, is look at my mileage, write it down. I get out of the truck, I'm putting there, put my card in, putting all my info in, and it was always like the fifth thing it asked for was the mileage. So I'm having to sing in my head the mileage over and over, like seven, seven, nine, five, three, four, so, you know. So I like how I can put the mileage in before I get out of the truck. Then it gives you a code, and then you can take your phone with you with the code right in front of your face. And hit, you put that in first or if you can just remember it first which sometimes I do put that in it still asks you extra questions like do you want truck fuel do you want def do you need to buy extra stuff blah 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 but you don't have to put in your uh, driver ID you don't have to put in your mileage uh, out there on the pump and it saves your cards so you don't have to swipe your card each time uh, so it's kind of handy I'll walk you through it real quick okay first off you just hit pump smart on your main menu then it's gonna say, say select fueling location you hit next then fleet one card I've already put mine in I hit next ask you to put odometer in I hit next you can tump at, type in your odometer right there then it moves on and it gives you a code now you can take your phone out to the uh, pump and you type in that code it's just that easy all right I know Tourette's trucker you beat me uh, to the punch on uh, talking about the Pump Smart uh, on TA and Petro. 
Uh, and go check out his channel, The Tourette's Trucker, by the way. I got to meet him down in, uh, where is it, uh, South Carolina? A couple months back, and a real nice guy. I do have a lot of people subscribing to the channel who are not drivers, uh, or maybe who are about to become drivers, uh, so forth. They're kind of interested in the whole trucking industry. That's why I try to show stuff like the truck wash. Um, I did it one with fueling, uh, what, about a month ago or something, because somebody asked for that. Um, so, you know, try to show people stuff that they may not know. And people are not in trucking, you have no idea, how are we taking showers? Well, we do it at truck stops. And so after I got the truck washed, decided I, I want to get myself washed, even though it was a heat index of 107 or whatever. But um, so I wanted to walk you through that. And again, I use the Truck Smart app with TA and Petro using my ultra credit so I don't have to pay for a shower. You can pay for it, but it's anywhere from, uh, what, 14 50 to 20 bucks, depending on where you're at. So if you can use the ultra credit, you get each time as long as you put in 60 gallons, well, that makes it worthwhile. So uh, here's how you use the, uh, the app to get your shower. Okay, again, on the uh, Truck Smart app, you would hit Instant Shower, and you're going to choose if you have an ultra credit, you want to use that. And you hit submit, and then it comes up with a shower number for you to go to. And it gives you the shower code to get into the room. All right, here we are inside the Petro Joplin 44, cruising over, trying to find where the showers are. This one looks a lot like the Iowa 80. Same steps, even. Where are the showers, I think? Oh, maybe I passed them. Oh, they're back this way. Look at the screen. Yep, verify my number, and it's right over here. Thank you. Okay, so if you've always wondered, this is a pretty standard one. Sink, mirror, hello. That's your toilet, toilet paper. Make sure it's full before you sit down and do your business, whatever. And then back here we have our lovely shower area. They give you that liquid soap. I like the regular bar soap. I'm old school, what can I say? So I'm looking back out here, you got a little bench. Throw my bag down on that and, and plug in your razor over there. They always give you a hair dryer. I don't use that. And then they give you your towels. So now you know what the trucker shower experience is like. This is one of the nicer ones. They can be a lot more scary than this. Like you, I always joke that I never have to pack for vacation because I always have my little toiletry ditty bag and my shaver always right there. So I just transfer them from there into a suitcase. That's what we did when we went to Laughlin. They do give me a real bath mat towel. It's usually not in the best of shape, but it is made of cloth. So you can throw that down there, we'll straighten that out. Years ago, when I first started running, pilots would give you a piece of paper to put down there. It's like, oh, oh. what the hell good does that do me? I grab, they give me two full-size towels, which is nice. I always grab one and hang it on the hook nearest the shower. So it'll be ready for me when I come out. Ah, oh, yes, and then they give you a little face towel and then a standard sized hand towel. Okay, there we go. See, now all nicely clean and everything. I always uh, leave a couple of bucks because this is a thankless job. I wouldn't want to do it. So yeah, I always leave the bucks there. I hang my towel up. I leave the bath mat one down there, but I try to leave it in a fairly decent condition. Because like I say, I wouldn't want to clean it, you know? So, I'm not good at doing it on the mirror. <laughs> Sorry. If I always do one extra quick look around, make sure I grab my shampoo, and I did. There's nothing lying around. Packed everything back in my bag, we're ready to go. All right, here it is. Missouri Joplin 44. I kept trying to call it the Oak Grove. We're on the tile on the floor here. So like I say, that's all we're going to put in this video uh, because I realized it was going to be way too long if I included everything that I've been uh, capturing over the last few days because it's been a few days since I've done a video. 
but I'm always catching stuff on the road and what have you. And so got some interesting stuff, more all road related stuff uh, to put into the next video. Parked here tonight or early morning, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it is Sunday officially, the 1st of August already. Uh, it's about 4 o'clock in the morning as I'm putting this video together. Got here, oh, just about an hour ago. Took Rusty out, let him prance all around, all the way, you know, good stuff. Uh, as I was, I stopped at the fuel island, ran into the bathroom inside real quick. Went to the bathroom. As I was inside, uh, they were playing that Elton John song. Um, well, how's it go? It's like, uh, uh, hold me close, young Tony Danza. Drown the headlights on the highway. Isn't that how it goes? <laughs> well, thanks for tuning in for that. Uh, I realized I had so much stuff to put into the video that it was going to be super long, so I'm cutting it down into two videos. This one, you know, showed the Pump Smart, the truck wash, uh, the truck of showers, and all that. And then the one I'm going to put together probably Monday morning once I get parked up in New York State is going to include, um, let's see, uh, four wheelers smashing into each other in Missouri, Schneider, uh, Schneider shredding a tire, Schneider shredding. Uh, tire in Oklahoma, uh, crazy lightning, uh, crazy storm that knocked me out. Of the, I had to get off the road from in Missouri. Massive heat, excessive heat is what they say down in Texas. Found an old house I lived in in Nacogdoches, or a little mobile home. A house going down the road in Nacogdoches. Uh, lots of other stuff coming up in the next video, so check that out. Um, thanks for tuning in. As always, please subscribe. Please like and comment if you'd like to. Only if you'd like to. I get to your comments. Sometimes it takes a day or two or three because I'm a working truck driver. Uh, don't forget about Clutch Trucker on Instagram, Clutch Trucker on Twitter. Uh, that TikTok one is still coming soon. I just, I've just i been working so hard I haven't had a chance to get to it. But stand by. It'll be on the way. Uh, as always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Clutch and Rusty, out. Damn it, Chloe, we're running out of time. All right, Rusty, are you ready? Here it is. Come on and get it. Get yourself in position and leap. There you go. Oh, he's got it. Brings it back to the Beggin Strip Bounty Paradise. And there he is. Give us the happy dog look, Rusty. Come on. Look on up here. Happy Beggin Strip loving dog. Oh, yes.